Welcome to another episode of Hanging with Fame. It's your boy, Johnny King. I'm here with Fendi, What's the queen of the universe right now. They switch sides and it ain't no discussing with them. We bitches move like they ain't got muscle in them. Born alone, die alone. Don't play with these bitches. See, I barely play the scene. I'm just here for the pictures. Instagram it's a goal for a bitch life. Gotta have them fucking with them. You can't wear your shit twice. She cool, but this bitch nice. Spit bars, they just drooling, they can't get right. Cockies, brown skin chicks, is that foxy bitch. The front go in the back rise, that's my not need whip. She show her ass, she a show off. My bitches tell me go off. Born and raising that hard, see, I don't know soft. Spit three grand on the shoes to see if I walk different. Book smart and street smart, so I talk different. I see a lot of fake asses, but I'm good. See, I just want my titties done. Lord knew I'd be a problem, he ain't give me none. Rap bitches point them out, baby, give me one. I'm at the table fork and knife like it's my dinner done. I fuck niggas, then it's fuck niggas. She that bitch I can't compare, so I don't fuck with her. Her shoe game mean. She only 23 in the bins. Me, Chanel, Celine, hashtag me and my friends. I don't need these bitches. Bitches need me. I'm a breath of fresh air. When they breathe, they breathe me. I keep it moving. So it's hard to overlook me. I'm a hustler. I done sold everything but pussy. But um, you get more of who Fendi is and what I like to do, what I like to talk about, the stories, whatever. Like that's 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 what's going on in this mixtape. The first mixtape, I guess, I was just trying to find out which lane I wanted to ride. You know what I'm saying? So for this one, yeah, it's like I know who I am. I know what I'm doing. Like, this is what it is. Who are some of the artists you're working with? On part one, you had Gotti, Kiss, mm -hmm. Mo, Hella Industry Vets. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the producers here? Who are some of the artists that's on the label one too? I mean, it's a given. That's family. Like everybody, you name is family. But um, producers, it's a, a a guy out of Philly that I'm on the phone with all the time. Like Facetime, like put this bass there, put this snare there. House of Tunes, he's crazy. He's an up and coming producer. Um, who else on there? I usually like on Twitter put out like semi beats or whatever. So it's, I don't know their names yet, but they will get credit on the mixtape. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that kind of. But yeah, so just basically House of Tunes though. What's your process been like so far? As far as what? Uh, putting together the tape. You had any bumps in the road, any stumbles? No, the music is there. Like, I can do that with my eyes closed. Like, now it's just a business. This this business is so social media driven. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not really a um, look at me type bitch, but you see me. Like, you're gonna see me regardless. So it's just me stepping into it and letting people into who I am. You know? So that's just my biggest. I'm gonna keep it on it. That's my biggest struggle right now but yeah i'm open all right speaking on uh how the business is social media driven right now mm -hmm. what is social media like for you how important is it for you in your career uh shit it's more important than i thought it was <laughs> definitely but um nowadays people not doing and um music music labels like record deals and things like that you can sign yourself off of instagram you know what I'm saying? You got bitches spinning around in the room and they get a hundred thousand followers now. Everybody like, yo, who is that bitch? Yeah, that Instagram thing. Yeah, like, so a lot of you bitches is just social media popping. Like, y'all ain't popping out in these streets. Alright, well, yeah. what's the release date that you got set for? I don't even want to set another release yeah. date because every time I set a release date, Fendi called me like, yo, do the <laughs> so fuck that. But it's coming though. I'm going to get y'all the videos. The videos... I'm gonna give you everything. I'm not waiting on nobody. I'm gonna give you everything that I got right now. So just expect some good, good things. You touring and doing shows right now? Not yet. And the only reason I'm not doing that yet again is because I'm working on. You can't put something out and not know what it is. Right. So now I'm working on that. So, but of course, people call me. And they, but yeah, I move on my time. I'm not rushing anything. I think legends are built, meaning I think. It's a grind, like it's not an overnight thing. Right. Not saying that I got time, but I got time. Right, um, question for you. 
uh, performing? Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy it more out of, out of town or at home? And why? Now, you know, if I don't say at home, it's a wrap. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I enjoy, I definitely, like, no bullshit, I definitely enjoy it in town because it's good to see the people that people mess with you where you're from because a lot of people don't get that. Yeah. And when I came out, they told me, like, yo, the female's not going to mess with you. Like, the guys don't mess with you because you just, whatever, but the fe no, the females live for me. They love me. When I'm at the shows, they know the music, so I would definitely have to stay home. It's the best place to perform. Okay, what's your process like for picking songs for a show? Mm, my two-step is mean, so whatever I can do, whatever I can get up there and to. But, um, or whatever is popping, like whatever they want to hear is what I get on. What do we got to look forward to uh, video-wise? What visuals are you working on for Lady Wall 2? Dope Man is going to be the first. I'm releasing a visual, a visual for Dope Man, but it's not going to be the official visual. I'm just giving it to him. Like, I have to give it, you know what I'm saying? So... Dope man, I know I'm gonna do one for um I don't wanna give them all but I'm gonna do one for um a song I got called Like Me. I'm gonna do one for um a song I got of course they heard already called Imaginary Bad Bitch. Okay. I got a lot of um, videos coming. What did you know you wanted to do completely different from part one? What did you learn from a part one that you wanna put in the part two? Part one, I think um uh, not even say I think. It's the same thing. I'm just giving them more of me now. Like because coming from a person that like I've always been popular, like people always knew who Fendi was, but she was never one to want to be seen. You know what I'm saying? You just knew who she was. Like Frank Lucas type vibe. Like everybody knew <laughs> Frank Lucas, but Frank Lucas wasn't coming out and shit wasn't popping. Right. So yeah, like I just get them just opening up more and giving them more of me. Alright, does Baltimore play a role in part two? As far as influence wise. What's, what goes of on? Of course. Here? Everything everything you see, everything you hear is so Baltimore. Like everything, I can only get Baltimore. Like I've been, I'm born and raised, like born and raised in West High Baltimore. Okay. So yeah, everything that I do is definitely influenced by Baltimore, but it doesn't, it doesn't sound like Baltimore. If that makes sense. I just give them the the, the story and the life of a female growing up in Baltimore. Okay, you do a lot of traveling. You be a lot of places. Mm -hmm. How does that influence your music? Um, a lot. Everything that I do, I rap about. I write about. Whether, whatever whatever it is, whether it's what I'm eating or what I got on or who right. I'm not, whatever, like, I, I write about it, so everything influences, influences me. Alright, and we ain't got no release date on it, but uh, we have it before 2015. And how big is that possibility? Because I know how Fendi could be, so. <laughs> it's not even Fendi's decision, like, honestly, not saying that it's not, but it's my decision. It's, it's a team decision, because we all represent each other. You know what I'm saying? So I would never want him to, because he won't push whatever I put out there. You know what I'm saying? But I would never want him to push something I don't wholeheartedly feel like is ready. The music is ready, but the person, not even the person, my brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just working. I'm a businesswoman. So when I put something out, bitch, you got to get it for $20.99 and all that. So that's what I'm working on. Yeah, so. All right. Well, look, I'm your boy Johnny Kane, Fendi in the house. I'm here. I was popping. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for giving me a scoop on Label Boy 2. I appreciate you um, Hopefully it'll be in my Christmas. We have it before Christmas. I'll let it bring a new year in. Y'all gonna have so much stuff before Christmas. You ain't even gonna want the mixtape until January. <laughs> so y'all, y'all be good. They be good. Thank you for coming out and being a part. I appreciate you. Definitely fuck with Underground Radar. They fuck with y'all. Y'all better fuck with them.